Okay, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to change out your flammable vapor sensor. Okay, this is the Ream water heater. And I'm getting uh, on my valve here, I'm getting seven flashes with a three second pause. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a three second pause, and then to give you another seven. So I look over here on my plate, and it says for seven flashes, it's my flammable vapor lockout sensor. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it. So from Amazon, I picked one up. It's right here, and then we're just, this sensor is very sensitive. It's put here for safety reasons. If it detects any vapors, any flammable vapors like gasoline, paint thinners, paint or anything, it will shut your gas valve down. Now mine got real dirty. I had to reset my water heater a few times and I won't, it won't reset, so it's time to replace it. It pops out like that. See that? And then what it is here is just two terminals there. So let me pop those out real quick. The new one here on this casing here is just popping in like so. Then you put very simple, these terminals here are not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter what side you put it on. Now, pop it in place. back on see it's still giving me the seven flashes so what I have to do is reset this so what you do is turn it off turn the dial all the way down to low unplug it unplug it for a minute I'll come back and then in a minute get back in come over here you turn it on and from very low to very hot, you do it seven times. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that should reset. You see how the lights now, it's now just got a steady flash. So now my water heater is gonna kick on and we're gonna be able to take warm showers. Thank you for watching my tutorial. And that's how you reset a ream wire heater and how you replace a vapor flammable vapor lockout sensor.